defender of the Constitution in the Congress today joins us. Congressman Paul with our good friend Peter Schiff. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you. Good to be with you again. Were, were you as, could you raise his volume a little bit, were you as scandalized as I and, and, and Peter and, and many of our colleagues when Secretary Geithner yesterday before the House uh, Financial Services Committee was unable to tell Congresswoman Bachman where in the Constitution the Treasury Department looks for authority to justify the things it's been doing lately? Well, probably not as much as you have because I've heard it so many times because over the years I've asked those questions. But quite frankly, I thought he'd come up with a better, a little bit better answer because sometimes they'll say, oh, uh, it's on the uh, area where it tells the Congress that they have the right to uh, issue coinage, you know. <laughs> they'll come up with all these crazy ideas, but he came up with nothing. Uh, so that would even mention the necessary and proper clause yeah, or, the, or the interstate commerce clause. So. It was as if he took an oath to uphold, protect and defend a document that he has never read. Or what Congress says, it means if the Congress says it, that means it's the Constitution. Or whether the president says so, that means it's the Constitution. They have very little respect or understanding about what the Constitution is all about. This is uh, Pelosi uh, apparently indicated this morning, according to your colleague John Shadig from Arizona on my radio show, Brian and the Judge, that she's of the belief that the powers that the Secretary of the Treasury asked for yesterday and the President again asked for last night, which would let Treasury examine the books and wind down any corporation, whether it's the recipient of federal largesse whether it's publicly traded, whether it's privately held, an S-corporation, any corporation in the country that they think might be in trouble and could cause systemic problems. That that legislation is so important that there will be no committee hearings about it in the House and just an hour debate on the House floor. Are we seeing mob justice? in the uh, House of Representatives. Uh, yeah, and I think we've been moving in that direction, and they would call it very necessary and proper uh, to do this. And uh, they, they've been moving this way for so long that to them it doesn't mean mean very much to do this. I mean, they are socializing the country. And, you know, like Emmanuel said, uh, Rahm Emanuel said, he says, don't let one of these emergencies go to waste. And uh, it looks like they're making good use of it from their viewpoint. But uh, what they're trying to do in this bailout and patching together in new world currencies, none of it is going to work. We're going to have chaos. And the more economic chaos we have, the greater the threat to our liberties we'll have. And to me, that's the answer. You know, we protect liberties, even if we're a very, very poor nation for a little while. If we have freedom and sound money, I think we'd get back to work so quickly and uh, recover. But uh, that's not what they're interested in. But hopefully, uh, the American people will wake up. I was telling, I was telling Peter uh, Schiff that my comments uh, here on Fox and, and, and elsewhere about fidelity to the Constitution, which used to be met with uh, skepticism, or this is just a scholar's academic uh, interest, are now being met with significant numbers of emails of people who are saying, uh, finally, this makes sense. Finally, I understand it. But, but in, in my view, the Bush administration utterly trashed the Constitution in the name of security, utterly ran rampant over our fundamental civil uh, liberties, and the Obama administration is trashing the Constitution and running rampant over our free market liberties in the name of security. Yeah, economic Is security. Any way to stop this? Not until enough people are so outraged that they demand it be stopped or it will end uh, when there's a calamity because uh, economic laws are pretty powerful. Uh, we uh, didn't have to fight the Soviets and, and there was no military takeover of their government, but the uh, old Soviet system collapsed because they couldn't finance it. So uh, there may be some good things on the horizon because we cannot continue to finance this. We will have to give up on our world empire and we're going to have to uh, give up on this wild spending because it will destroy the dollar and uh, we should prepare for it and teach as many people to understand this as possible and understand why freedom works and uh, and that uh, we don't have to sacrifice any of the good American principles and that we can find so many of our answers in the Constitution. That's yeah. it's sitting there waiting to be used. Are you going to have an opportunity to question uh, Ben Bernanke again soon? 
No, but uh, I, I think Geithner is supposed to be before uh, financial services tomorrow. Because you got to what you got to remember is to try to keep your questions very short and poignant, so you can have a chance to rebut them when they ignore what you're well, asking. Well, there, there's two arguments on that, and I get a lot of criticism for not doing that. But over the years, I have found when I do that, ask a short question and expect an answer. Uh, it's very hard to keep him short. Sometimes he gets more time than I do, and I get a total of five minutes, and that's it. It's a judgment call, and I just think that uh, when they get four out of my five or three minutes out of my five, will, will, will it you, does, will, doesn't work Will you very make well. the argument not that the Treasury Secretary shouldn't have the power to bust up any corporation that he wants, but that the Congress doesn't have the moral or constitutional ability to give him that power because they don't have it to give away. You know, in, in con casual conversation today on the House floor with other members, uh, they were agreeing me 100 percent with that. Why are we doing this? And, and they and, and they weren't just Republicans. There were some Democrats, and they say we shouldn't be doing this. And I do have some Democrats on uh, my bill uh, to have transparency of the Fed, not at the Fed. So uh, I think our sentiments are growing, but not in leadership yet. But I think the people outside of uh, this uh, city uh, are waking up, and eventually, if there's enough Americans awake and sending messages here, the American Congress will wake up as well. Congressman Paul, thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday uh, on Freedom Watch, and I'll see you Friday night in St. Louis. Thanks for your time. Wonderful. Thank you. Where is that handsome devil, Eric Bowling? Judge, here comes the uh, apprentice. Now, this, 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 this is a heavy-duty group that I've always wanted Mr. to be Judge able hand, to interrogate the two of you. You fights, Schiff? The two of you at the same Judge, time. Boy, sir. Were, were you as scandalized like as Schiff and I? When Tim Geithner uh, yesterday afternoon and the president last night asked the Congress to give them the power to examine and bust up any corporation they want, whether it receives federal funds, whether it's publicly traded, or whether it's mom and pop and privately owned. You are the, the defender of the Constitution. I de de defer to you on all matters like that. i got to tell you, though, there were a lot of things that were scary between yesterday's testimony with Geithner and Bernanke and then last night. I don't know if you guys caught this, but Obama at one point said, look, Here's how we're going to, here's my plan. I, blah, da, 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 da. And don't worry, the economy's going to pay for it. And if they don't, Congress might figure out a way on their own. What would that way hear be? hear him say, Congress, if they don't agree with the way we're going to pay for it, they may have another idea. We'll let them figure that out. Did you, did you catch that? What do you think he did meant? Did you catch that? Well, Confiscation of assets? In, in the form of taxes, perhaps. I had a great clip for you, Judge. I had a fantastic, you want to use this? I had a we have that clip. All right, we'll do I, it next. We'll, we'll do it next time. Peter Schiff, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Eric Bowling, your show is coming up. For all of us at Freedom Watch, stay free.